when we multiply two numbers like 3 multiplied by 4 the product obtained that is 12 is the multiple of 3 and 4 also now in this product we can see that 3 divides 12 completely similarly 4 also divides 12 completely means when we divide 12 by 3 or by 4 remainder is equals to 0 so here 3 and 4 are the factors of 12 therefore factor of a number is the number that divides the given number completely means when we divide a number by another one and if the remainder is 0 we can say that divisor is the factor of dividend now let us discuss few properties of factors we know that each and every number is divisible by 1 so 1 is a factor of every number when we divide 5 by 5 we get quotient equals to 1 and remainder is equals to 0 in the same way 8 divided by 8 12 divided by 12 and all the number when divided by itself then give remainder equals to 0 so every number is a factor of itself because each and every number can divide itself completely the smallest factor of any number is 1 and the greatest is that number itself because divisor cannot be greater than the dividend so if we have to divide 12 the greatest divisor can be 12 only therefore every factor is either less than or equal to the given number the given question is write all the factors of each of the following numbers first number is 18 we can find the factors of any number using multiplication to find the factors we write all the possible combinations of that number starting from 1 and continue till the factors start repeating we know that 1 is the smallest factor of any number so we can write 18 as 1 multiplied by 18 is equals to 18 then after 1 18 comes in the table of 2 2 multiplied by 9 is equals to 18 then by 3 3 multiplied by 6 is equals to 18 then we do not get 18 in the table of 4 and in the table of 5 then 18 comes in the table of 6 so 6 multiplied by 3 is equals to 18 now you can see that 6 into 3 is already written here we already have these two numbers 3 into 6 and 6 into 3 both the numbers are same so the numbers started repeating itself now therefore we will not write this combination as we already have these numbers and the factors of 18 will be equals to the first one 1 then 2 then 3 now come to this side 6 9 and 18 so these are the factors of 18 now the next number is 25 so again we will start with 1 1 multiplied by 25 is equals to 25 now 25 does not come in the table of 2 3 and 4 then 25 comes in the table of 5 so 5 multiplied by 5 is equals to 25 
here you can see that already 5 has repeated itself we got 5 multiplied by 5 equals to 25 so these are the only possible factors which we can get for 25 therefore factors of 25 is equals to 1 then this 5 then here also we have 5 so we will write 5 only one time after that we have 25 so factors of 25 are 1 5 and 25 the next number is 48 so we will start with 1 first. 1 multiplied by 48 is equals to 48. Then by 2. So when you will divide 48 by 2, you will get 24. So 2 into 24 will give us 48. Then by 3, 3 multiplied by 16 will give us 48. After that, multiplied by 4, 4, 12s are 48. Then, 48 is not divisible by 5. After that, we have 6. 6 multiplied by 8 is equals to 48. Then, by 7, 48 is not divisible. Then, 48 comes in the table of 8. Now, 8, 6 are 48, which we have already written here. So, no need to repeat the numbers again. Therefore, factors of 48 is equals to 1, 2, then 3, then 4, 6, come to this side, 8, 12, 16, 24 and 48. Next number is 81. So 1 multiplied by 81 is equals to 81. Then 81 is not divisible by 2. Next number we will take is 3. 3 multiplied by 27 is equals to 81. Then 81 is not divisible by 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. After that we get 81 in the table of 9. So 9 multiplied by 9 is equals to 81. Here you can see 9 is repeated 2 times. That means we already got the repetition of number. Therefore, these are the only factors of for 81. So, write factors of 81 is equals to 1, 3, 9. Come to this side, 9 we have already written, then 27 and 81.